Hey guys, so these are the Jabra Evolve 65 and today we're going to take a little look inside of these uh, wireless headsets. So uh, we're starting out with the left uh, ear cup. So I'm going to take here the uh, ear pad off because uh, those are pretty expensive to replace so I don't want to damage those. And then let's have a look here at the outside. Let's take this cap off so we can see uh, if we get any easier access here. So I'm uh, going to uh, pry this open a little bit just to get my uh, pocket knife in there. And then uh, there's like little tabs in here. So here where I'm pointing at with the tweezers, that's where there's like uh, the first tab. So I'm going to try to push this towards the outside. And that way I can pop this off here. Okay, this is number one and there's uh, three tabs total. So I'm going to um, move my way around here. See here, got the second one loose. And then there's a third one on the very top. I'm going to get rid of that one also in a second. Yeah, this is where the last one is. Bam. Okay, so uh, you can see here we don't really get any access from the outside. They pretty much covered that. And then here, this is what this cover looks like. You see the three tabs that hold the cover in place. But then here you have these holes where you can look inside a little bit. That's where you can eventually see how this mechanism works that holds the uh, transducer in place here. So this... Uh, like a hinge mechanism in there oh it's really hard to see if you're not really right there so but eventually if you put like a sharp object in there then you can pry the transducer loose see here how this hinge mechanism works see here these uh, two little prongs on the uh, ear cup and then the uh, transducer that has these two holes so that works as a hinge now let's also have a detailed look at the transducer itself not going to take that one apart, I'm just going to uh, give you a nice screenshot of the uh, soldering joints. Okay, so uh, reassembly is pretty easy. Just put the uh, hinge back together and press it firmly to get it back into position. Goes in nicely without any damage. Let's put the cover back on. Now the uh, right ear cup, that works a little bit different because here we have first the uh, microphone arm here and then also here this little button panel, three push buttons. So I can take this cover off that easily. So I have to work my way inside here from the uh, side of the ear cup or from the transducer. So we can uh, try to open this up just the way we did before on the other side trying to open up the hinge here. See here the same kind of mechanism. And then here we do have the uh, battery right on top, right on top of the PCB and uh, so the two leads going to the transducer. Here's a nice uh, close up of the battery in case you're interested in that. No, the battery is just uh, glued into place here, some uh, little piece of tape or something. So we can just take that off. And then the PCB looks really not very spectacular here. You see the uh, connections here, the USB port and the switch. And then uh, you see these little black dots. They're not using any screws in this headset, so instead of uh, screwing down the PCB, they're just, I don't know what they did, if these are like plastic rivets or it's just some plastic pins that they heat up and then melt it down and push them into the PCB so it holds it down. So let me see if I can take those off. So there's four of them total. It's pretty easy, relatively easy to uh, remove here. And 
I'm hoping to be able to take the PCB out, but we really have to be careful. See, so you see the wires that uh, go to the other ear cup, to the left ear cup. This is really short. So if I remove the PCB, then uh, it's not going to be much wriggle room. But now, just later on, I notice here the PCB actually is stuck right now because of this uh, plastic ring of the ear cup that goes all around. So I'm guessing that they first install or insert the PCB and then uh, they're somehow gluing this ring together with the rest of the plastic casing here. See, I can't just remove this. This is really firmly bonding together. And I don't really want to destroy my headphones here, my headset, because I still want to use them. So I guess uh, you can just peek, try to take a peek here, you can see, it's really hard to see, but uh, behind this PCB there is another one, so there's, you see, like a little bit of green right and all in the way in the back, so uh, my guess is that's the PCB for the button panels. <laughs> 